Hi guys, hope, uh, hope we're all doing well. Let's have a quick look over the markets. Let's go on 12.20 here in London. The S&P is, well, it's it's up over the last couple of hours, but it had been drifting down, hadn't it, from really this time yesterday. So I guess going into the afternoon session, the ways to look at it, uh, potentially looking at, at some sort of trend from those highs. I think the key line in the sand is almost being reached now, just this area of support you see yesterday we didn't get the close below but when we did it led to the next move down so for me x marks the spot pivot is also an area i wouldn't really use it as an entry but as a, as a bit of a guide so for the short i i, I think the the sellers the buy, the bears need it here below this point and the buyers the bulls need us above the trend above the said trend the uh, area of support which uh, i think could be vital is of course these these previous highs, you know the uh, the level from uh, last week, but also going back a, a, a longer time. And let's just have a look at that on the the daily chart, just to put some perspective on it. You can see we've come back to test what was this previous level from the eighth, ninth, and tenth, and of course the fifteenth of July as well. So is that actually now the opportunity where it just goes and goes and goes? A daily close below would suggest otherwise. But at the moment, I think the buyers will be relatively happy with things so far. Let's have a, a quick look over at the euro. Talks of is 116 going to come into play today? We've just been drifting down over the last bit of bit. I mean, we basically got the 116, didn't we? The daily chart, just to put that uh, again into some context, you can see we obviously pushed nicely uh, above that yesterday, strong day. Strong day for, for the Euro. So keep an eye on that should we get a retracement at some point. You can see we really broke through that uh, yesterday at 4 p.m. No retest on the hour. So keeping a watch on that should that come into play. Uh, and also, you know, really these areas of support from yesterday morning and the day before will also be key. Uh, I think there can't be a, a promising short unless we get below there. To be completely honest, a bit of a trend line from those lows as well. It, it, it might well be that, um, yeah, something like that is where the, the next move comes down. Also, uh, I guess you can say we're, we're still going to be uh, in an uptrend as long as today, anyway, as long as we stay above these levels. So, X marks the spot there. The pound did push lower in early trade, however, this euro strength and also dollar weakness is maybe helping us recover a touch here um interesting to see what's going to happen on this pivot we almost got a test there almost got a test let's have a look trend line bit of a break there is as well coming through um so yeah this whole area that and the pivot is going to be key i guess by the time we get there we might also have broken or look to break uh, this trend line coming from those highs. So again, another key level to keep a, a, a watch on there for, for the pound. The reaction on those lows for me is quite telling though. You know, you've got a, a good area support, high, low, and uh, a rejection there as well. So yeah, X marks the spot. Uh, quick look at Aussie and then gold. Aussie, you can see recovering nicely from its blip lower uh, from some dollar strength risk off into uh, a new high as well. Gold, um, Pushed on, came down, pushed on. You can see as long as we stay above these highs from yesterday, you favour uh, a move to the upside. Uh, I guess just uh, a bigger move might have to take place. Uh, or for the bigger move, better entry, you might say you want it to come back down to this area here, which was the high of the eighth. Uh, but at the moment, it's, it's the, the balls are, are nicely in control. Anyway, guys, hope you'll have a good day. Um, and I will catch up with you all later on.